So it's known that universities churn out huge numbers of graduates, but our economy is short of employment for them and there are less and less jobs available. So the question is, who should be, who should be helping our, rest, our graduates get employment? How do we make them employable? I think basically it's supposed to be the, the function of government. And so fundamental like um, economic status or health of a country is measured by a series of indicators. Are you here GDP, gross domestic product? Unemployment, employability, it's actually one of those kind of indices. So, but the point is, um, the government can, even if the government creates employment, there are two different things between employment and employability. And so you, you hear government in political campaigns say, we're going to create a thousand jobs. Say they're creating space for more jobs. But the point is, what is the difference? Or what is the point if you're creating jobs and there are no individuals that can do those jobs? Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they never talk about developing capacity for employability. And that's because they kind of distract from the fact that it's probably the responsibility of universities. Now, if that is the case, if there is a gap between universities and industry where these graduates at the end of the day would actually work in, then it's actually a digital system. I think for me, the responsibility of employment is actually everybody's responsibility. The government, the civil societies, the universities. But in, a, in an era like we are, where nothing seems to work in that case, where you're saying the channel graduates all the time, I've come to the premise, and to be honest, that you have to grab your career bulls by the horns. Mm. Because if nobody's going to help you, you better help yourself. So I think there are fundamental models and ways where an individual or graduate can actually create a career pathway and progression for themselves. And um, simple things like creating your CV. Most students never think about CVs until they've left university. I was in a session one day and I was asking a, a class of 200 students, these are final year students, how many of you have a CV? And they're wondering, well, why are you asking us for a CV? We are still in school. Now, the, the worst time to write a CV is actually when you're looking for a job. What are some of the steps that the government should be taking in liaising with the industries that you're churning out these graduates to? Yeah. You see, interestingly, you discover something. It almost looks as if they're disjointed, but they actually like each other. And the simple premise is that I, I always ask people, when you find or you ask the average professor, at what point in your career do you feel most fulfilled? They will tell you, well, when I made a consultant to an industry. It kind of likes the industry. You operate in the bubble. And, and conversely, if you ask a, pro, uh, a CEO of a company, when you feel most honored in your, in your role as a CEO of an industry, he tells you, well, when I was issued a honorary doctorate degree. So hmm. these guys want to play in each other's circles. So when government says we have power, academia says we have knowledge. Industry says we have money. Now, these guys operate in different bubbles. Now, interestingly, the government should drive the conversation for these folks to play together.